What's up, Peach Squad? Here we are. We're about to get this workout in. I got Lily and Destiny today. They're about to drink their uh, pre-workout. Got the once so pre-workout. Once so pre-workout. And the creatine. They usually drink it like 15 minutes before, huh? Yeah. Oh, and one more thing. Today I'm gonna get Destiny's measurements, so. Stay tuned for that. I'm excited because we the last time the last time we um got the measurements was end of month two. Yeah. So that was like about six weeks ago. Six or seven weeks ago. Like six weeks ago, that was the last time we did the measurements and the weigh-in. So Damn, two scoops. Shit. Okay. Oh, oh, you're getting two scoops. Man, this thing ain't fucking around. Nope. Huh, she wants to kill it today. <coughs> We're gonna do arms. Shoulders. Me too. Shoulders, bicep, and tricep. Yep. By the way, Lily's wearing some, rocking some rare fit, the biker shorts. And then Destiny's <laughs> rocking the mesh leggings. How do you like the rare fit clothing? I like them. They're comfortable. Yeah, she's all rare fit. My favorite color. You're matching on accident. The exciting thing though is that, so the first launch, we didn't come out with any black colors, any dark colors. It was all crystal colors. That was Africa's own. Africa wanted to come out with crystal colors, but this next launch, which is gonna be like around mid to late February, we're gonna have some black, some gray, so darker colors. So you guys that don't like bright colors, they like darker colors, be on the lookout, rarefit.com. Oh, what I was gonna tell you. Mm. Damn, because I used to be pretty tight on you. It was tight. Yeah. By the way, guys, this is a new flavor that we're gonna launch. The Fruit Punch flavor. All right, guys, so we're gonna get Destiny's weigh-in and then measurements, waist measurements. 234. That's um 36 pounds. When I did it this morning too, it was 232. Yeah, in the morning you're for sure gonna weigh the the least, huh? You probably have abs in the morning. Yeah, go on. <laughs> okay, let's do the um let's do the measurements. Look at that. A little bit behind 43 and a half, so like a little bit less. Yeah, it's like about 43 and a half. 43 and a half inches. So is that total? Well, the first day was 49 and a half. Damn. Like three inches is usually a lot. Like if just say we were to, um, like just say her, she came to me day one and then like just say her butt grew three inches after three months, like that's a fuck load. Like that's a lot. Like that was, um, <laughs> that was Africa's cousin Michelle. She only, she, hers grew like three and a half inches, but like. Wasn't her butt like 43 inches? No. Really? It wasn't 43. Yeah, I think I saw it was like 43. No. I always gotta get the music ready for the outside. Yeah. The first day was October 11th. Today is December 19th. So it's really only been a month. I mean, three months and eight days. That's the crazy part. Okay, let's warm up. Shoulders, bicep, tricep. And it's gonna be triceps. So I'm gonna have you do three workouts in a row. I'm gonna have you guys warm up. So I'm gonna have you do jumping jacks. Right away, you're gonna do hammer curls. So right after that, you go straight to these hammer curls. It's gonna be three workouts, like, and then after the third one, you take a break and then you repeat it one more time. The shoulder presses, and then straight to these, look, hammer curls. doing it that way it's like I don't know it's just like more comfortable no you kind of grab your from part of your shoulder right here yeah 
the last one is gonna be like super um, high reps with the band, so it's gonna be like crazy. One thing that I want you guys to remember that you guys don't probably realize, you know, you guys are probably just seeing the workouts but not really paying attention to what's really happening. You know, the reason why Destiny's seeing progress is because she's getting stronger throughout time. If I had her doing the same amount of weight day one to now, trust me, she would not be seeing she would not be seeing the same progress that she's been seeing. So, you know, something that I want you guys to know is like you guys have to push yourself. You need to get stronger. You're not gonna get buff. There's a, there's like a lot of misconceptions out there that women are gonna get bulky if they lift weights and they get stronger. No, you're gonna burn body fat. Your body will build muscle, but you're gonna burn body fat, so you're gonna look thinner. So don't be scared of weight. Okay, push yourself. And even if you make small progress, small progress, slow progress, whatever, it's still progress. Don't give up. So you guys are gonna do shoulder flies. Okay. So it's gonna be side. Yeah, just pretty much to the side. But make sure when you go down, you control it. Like don't go up and then fast. And then I'm gonna have you do bicep curls. Remember those, right? I had you do them before. For these, you're gonna be like this. You're gonna be on your tippy toes, and then you're literally gonna bring like your head close, and then push. Don't let your elbows, don't let them flare out. When you bend them, they're going like down, like that. The further away, the harder. The closer, the easier. Guys, a couple things I want to talk about before I end this video is on, um, you know, slow progress is still progress. You know, the reason a lot of you are discouraged about your progress is because you compare it to someone else's progress. You know, everyone makes progress at a different pace. Just because this person has made this much progress and you have only made this much progress, that should be no reason for you to get discouraged. Small progress is still progress because all that small progress, all those little changes you're seeing, it's gonna add up into something big in the long run. So never compare your small wins to somebody else's wins okay and another thing i want to talk about is in the whole fat loss series the keys is you have to build muscle you know you know the best way to burn body fat as a beginner is to build muscle mass if you're more advanced what you have to do is you have to pretty much keep your muscle mass your lean muscle mass you have to keep that when you're in, when you're advanced when you're cutting when you're trying to lose body fat you have to keep your muscle mass right but when you're a beginner the best way the most effective way to lose body fat is by building muscle you know i know i show all these workouts that i have destiny do but it's not just the workouts that i'm having her do it's the fact that since from day one to now she's gotten so much stronger you know when she could do an extra rep or two she pushes for that extra rep or two because that's gonna lead to muscle growth when she could up the weight at least maybe one pound two pounds two and a half pounds three pounds five pounds ten pounds whatever it is as long as she's upping the weight whenever she can with good form that's how she's burning body fat it's not just the workouts she's doing the the workouts all that it's cool and all but if you're not applying progressive overload the exercises don't matter don't mean much you know so other than the, the her getting stronger you know she's eating enough protein for her body to build enough muscle so that's why i always have her drink two protein shakes a day because even though you don't need to drink protein your body needs a, a certain amount of protein but it's so hard it's so difficult to get enough protein through your food that protein shakes help so much 
and there's so many people out there who don't nearly eat enough protein to build muscle so drinking those protein shakes are gonna help a lot you know and then the other part is where you eat less calories than your body burns so let's just say your body naturally burns 2,000 calories whatever and you eat 1,700 or 1,500 calories, you're on a calorie deficit. That's what a calorie deficit said really means. It's just when you eat less than what your body burns. If you wanna figure out your calories, the easiest way to figure it out is go to calculator.net slash calories. I really, I just really hope I'm making sense and you guys understand what it really takes to, you know, to be able to burn fat. It's not, it's not, it shouldn't be really complicated. It's not easy, but it, it's fairly simple. You know, eat healthier, make smarter eating decisions be on a calorie deficit eat enough protein apply progressive overload on your workouts and you're gonna see results that's the biggest key though just progressive overload like that's the reason a lot of people don't see results you know they'll be doing the, their workouts they're being consistent but they're just not pushing themselves hard enough they're not applying progressive overload they're not upping the weight when they can you know you're not gonna get buff don't just do it on leg days do it on upper body days too just apply those methods and you guys are gonna see results like I'm trying to make it super simple because my goal is for you guys to all see results because when you guys all see results because you guys are following my advice seeing my videos you guys tell your friends about me like I just want to be known as like the best trainer that helps people transform their body so like obviously I'm giving you guys all the keys you guys just need to apply them but other than that thank you guys for watching and don't forget pineapple belongs on pizza.